Let us... You are of elven blood and a stranger, yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a woman of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack. And I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? It is the sturdiest building in the village. The women, elderly, and children will stay here during the battle, while the militia and knights protect them. They set up a barricade outside the Chantry to keep monsters from getting inside. If anything gets in, Van Tegan is our only defense. Please, have mercy. Help these people. Do whatever you can. You would? That is, I mean, of course. I'd be happy to. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. Blessed is the prophetess, his daughter, sacrificed to the holy flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. I don't like being I here fear when most for the children. Everybody they are so I'm scared, Mother. We One of the bad men is on the wagon. Good day. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wild, my husband and son went there to bring the Chant of Light to the Chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. I am. You've heard of me? I'm sorry to burden you with my mourning. The Maker be with you. Good day. I'm so scared, Father. It wants to make it to the chantry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. If he has foolishly run off, then he is no doubt dead. You should get used to that fact. Nice. Maybe you want to kick her in the head while you're at it. Shall we comfort her with lies? If she is to face death, better she face it honestly. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. I went to her house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village too. I called and I called, but he never answered. I, I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. Barricade himself into his house. I can't believe how cowardly and selfish Twin is being. I'm telling the missus he doesn't deserve the Blackberry Tarts anymore. Mr. Murdoch, he's heading up the militia. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. For more reasons than you care to hear, I bet. Still, there's no reason to think Van Tegan's lost his mind. 
We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. I... I hope you're right. I've been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. It would help if we had decent equipment. There weren't enough swords in Owen's shop, and the men's armor is nearly falling off. I don't think we're in any shape to fight. We'll do our best, of course, but, well, I have my doubts. I just hope I'm alive tomorrow morning. We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Not by nightfall, and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. He's a trader, a dwarf, lives near the lake, locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Shouldn't you be trying to reason with Owen? Oh? Ask away? Don't rightly know. We heard the Owl was sick and getting worse, but after a while we heard nothing at all. A few folks went up to the castle to see what was going on. They couldn't get in. Nobody was there, not a soul. And then those horrid creatures attacked the village. They were everywhere. People dying. It was awful. Good thing Van Tegan was here. No. I know the Arlesa sent the knights out for a cure. You can ask Sir Perth about it. He was one of them. Hmm. If you want weapons and such, you go to the blacksmith, but there isn't much left there. Uh, commerce isn't exactly our biggest concern right now, but you might want to speak to Lloyd at the tavern. I wouldn't trust him, though. Shouldn't you be trying to reason with Owen? Don't drink with him. That's how he sucks you in. Just my luck, our success hinges on the most foolish drunk of a smith ever to grace the Maker's lands. Away. Curse you! Leave me in peace! You've already taken everything out of my stores. 
There's nothing left. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been to enough. Mm. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. <laughs> 